I got an older 2011 iMac, and, and really what I was looking to do is create a digital photo frame for, for my wall in my office. And then I, I also put one in the show notes that's the, the one from CES that was announced by Lenovo. Um, those usually run in the $400 price range, and I wanted something that was 20 inches or bigger and <clears throat> was Wi-Fi and could potentially um, take an SD card. So in looking, I'm like, well, I have an old 2011 iMac. It's in the box. Um it only came with, I think, four gig of RAM, and the the drive was an old 320 gig drive. So I'm like, well, I could probably turn this also into a, a Minecraft server. But the screensaver, I could make, I could actually dump all of the photos into OneDrive or iCloud or wherever, all the pictures that I want to show. Use that as the screensaver, and also run it as a um, Minecraft server. So I went out and did some digging. The arm is not easily removable, unlike the screen display that we showed before the the uh, the show, because that's what I had to do to take out the old hard drive and put in a new one. The memory in this one, actually, you just unscrew the bottom and pop new memory in. Yeah, those ones are super easy. I have a t- uh, 2007 edition of those. So and I, yeah. and I booted it up saying, oh, what can I do with this thing? So I jumped over to... Amazon and started Googling around someone sells and I put the first link in there is the Vivo adapter visa mount kit. Um, And it's a dual bracket. If you go to the, I think it's the third picture in the frame. Um, It kind of clamps on between um, around the arm. It's four screws. Um, You get that rocking and rolling and then you mount up your, uh, wall arm or if you have a desk arm or whatever type of arm you have um and hopefully clamps. a very sturdy one because the imax going to be pretty heavy by itself it's about 20 pounds mm-hmm. um so i got something that's meant for like a 37 inch monitor just in case mm-hmm. um the one thing i will warn you is if you look at the clearance and the curve of the way that the mount comes up off the back of the the iMac notice that the visa mount that they show in the picture is small form factor for like old old night 17 19 20 some inch screens so it has that tight square screw pattern um if you go to the second link in there i actually bought my my arm mount based on like it was like a link at the bottom of this page but it wasn't from the same manufacturer it was just a hey here's some mounts that that people liked um well when i bought the the actual arm it serviced anything from like a 17 inch to like 40 some inch tv um and it it could definitely handle the 20 pounds Um, unfortunately the mount was too big square wise. So it bumped into the bottom of the arm because the arm goes back, the arm of the Mac goes back on an angle. Mm -hmm. So I simply took a hacksaw to the bottom. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds about right. All right. (laughs) Like if you look at that, that picture right there where, Uh, by the way, hacksaw needed not linked in uh, in a story. There's there, that inner square. I just kind of cut down mm-hmm. um, the bottom of it, and <laughs> and then it screwed right on, and I hung it right on my wall. So a little bit of modification. The, the thing, but the kicker was the thing that I liked about the arm I got mm-hmm. was that it came with a stud finder, and it oh. like I have I have a normal stud finder. Yeah, but sometimes the stud finder's off, even if it's off by like less than a quarter of an inch you end up missing the stud if you're if you're not not getting it right and i didn't want this thing falling off the wall yeah the stud finder they give you is a is a small high powered magnet i think i it's right here um it's this small little device and it has a very high powered magnet in it Hmm. so it will literally find the screw underneath the paint underneath the drywall mud 
to make sure that as long as your drywall is hung properly, <laughs> you're going to definitely find pretty much the center of the stud, um, which I actually ended up using it. And unfortunately, the screw, the screw that I found is actually behind the monitor. I'd show you it'll actually stick to the wall wherever the screw is. Nice. So, and it, and it also comes with a very small, tiny, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's got one of those levels. So there's a little bubble in there. So once you, once you get your screw on there and you get your, th the first screw in for the, the um, mount, you actually put this on the top and it, cl it clings to the actual wall mount. And then you can perfectly level the arm as well. 